Tell me what we're going to be talking about today, Kenneth. How can you order fractions and mix numbers? I love how you read the title, but can you tell me what we're going to be talking about? Uh, ordering fractions. Ordering fractions. Tell me what a fraction is, Shanoi. Give me an example of a fraction, Shanoi. Three-fourths. Three-fourths. Now tell me what a fraction is, Shanoi. Oh, so tell me what three-fourths is. Is it a whole or is it less than a whole? Less than a whole. Yes, ma'am. It's a part of something. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. So keep your books open to page 320. And I want you to tell me, Keandre, what is the purpose of the skills block? Help us understand, help us understand better. Understand what better? How fraction. How fractions are. So is it just fractions that are on our skills block today? No, ma'am. What is it, darling? It's a little bit of marcaria. Um, huh? No, It's a little bit, Leland, of everything. everything that you've learned so far this year, right? So let's show what you know. Number one says what, Jonathan? Uh, identify. identify. Everybody look at A. Tell me what that is, Jonathan. Uh, a pair of L's, parallel lines. Everybody put your hands in parallel lines. Show me intersecting. Ooh, very good. Show me perpendicular. Woohoo! Awesome. Okay. So these were from the sun? A radius. The rays of the sun. So this is a radius at the center and goes out. This one cuts it all the way across, cuts, cuts it in half. A diameter. It is diameter. If I cut you in half, you would die. Cut the circle in half, diameter is right. So what to ensure that all the children are with me, and one of my secrets that I'll tell you is that I started months ago in with fractions on their skills block and introduced it there with shaded and non-shaded so that when I get ready to teach the lesson, they already have some background knowledge in that helps them with their self-esteem. Oh, I can do this, I've seen this before. Yeah, we had it on our skills block back in November. But So all that goes into um, how I teach it. And, and we've looked at things differently and looked at things different ways and talked to them way back in August about improper and proper fractions and that that line between the numerator and denominator means divide. And I said, y'all remember, we're gonna see this again. So I want you to remember, and I think it was Keandre who remembered, or it might've been a Cervante, who remembered way back from August that line means divide between a numerator and denominator because whether it's fractions or decimals or um, uh, whether you're adding or subtracting or um, doing a number line or place value or value it's all about patterns and if you can teach your kids to see those patterns in numbers I don't know if you caught Brianna or not but um, when I was saying is so one half is the same thing as two fourths and she said and three sixths but if you teach kids even back in kindergarten they are doing patterns complete the pattern for me circle square triangle circle square and just like fractions one half two fourths and she said three sixths and four eighths and get comfortable I think that's the whole ball of wax is having kids feel comfortable and confident that they can do the lesson and for me to find every strategy and trick in my bag to help them learn it and give them some kind of strategy that they can remember and so if I give them five or six strategies they're going to choose the one that they're most comfortable with three. order from arrange in order from least to greatest. least to greatest isn't that how we compare numbers Kenneth we compare numbers by saying they're greater than, or less, less than, than, or, or equal to. Okay, and now we're going to put them in order, and the most important words are Great, least to greatest. Okay, Leland, which one you want to do, Marcuria? C. C. Read those fractions to me. One and one half. What kind of number is that, Deja? A mixed number. Oh, thank you. Okay, and the next one is? Two and bless one you. third. Two and one third. The next one is? One and... One seventh. One and one seventh. And the last one? Two and one ninth. Two and one ninth. What's going to help you put these numbers in order from the least to the greatest, Markeria? The numbers beside it. What number beside Which number? The whole number or the fraction? Whole number. The whole number. I've got a one and a two and a one and a two. Which ones are going to come first, the ones or the twos? One. The ones. So I've got one and a half and one and one seventh. It is one and one seventh, isn't it? 
Oh, yeah. Okay. Which one is smaller, one and one half or one and one seventh? Leland, you're with me? One and one half. Who says one and one seventh? Is, one and one half is smaller than one and one half? Give me a thumbs up. What's wrong, Cervante? Because they're equal. One and one seventh is the same thing as one and one half. So if I give you a half of a candy bar, that's the same thing as one seventh of a candy bar? Oh, how many pieces do I have in the seventh of a candy bar? One half would actually be. I only broke it into how many pieces? Really? For halves? One, two. Two. But if it's sevenths, how many pieces did I break it into? Seven. Seven. So which one's going to be smaller? One, one out of seven or one out of two? One out of seven. Thumbs up this time if you agree one out of seven is small. Okay. How 37 and put them in groups of five is right. Are you with me? Okay. Um, if you'll fold that and put it inside your math book. Leave it sticking out of the top so you'll grab it and be able to put it in your agenda. Kenneth, you reminded us and told us that the title of this page was? Order fractions. Ordering Fractions. What's the standard? How, how can you order fractions and mixed numbers? Is that the essential question or is that the standard? Oh, that's an essential question. <laughs> it is. So what's the standard for today? What is it that I want to make sure that I do well teaching you and you will understand? I want to make sure that you know... Math. Yes, all of that. Yeah. But one particular thing today, I want to make sure that you know how to... To compare and order fractions, including fractions then... Greater than. Greater than what... One using models and strategies. That's right. And Alexis, our essential question for today is How can you order fractions and mixed numbers? Okay, how do I order fractions again? How do you order fractions, Markeria? Sequence. I, I do order them from the greatest to the smallest or the smallest to the greatest. And I compare fractions by. Greater than, less than, or equal to, right? Okay, so Ms. Keisha, she's going to show us our little video. Take a look at that and see if you can answer the essential question. Well, I just know that if I make it fun, and I love the envisions where they have something animated um, to look at. And, and I love that we go through it because by the end it's, oh, we know this, this is easy. And so that builds their self-confidence too. And they're ready for the lesson that I'm going to teach them having gone through the animated part. But I think it's crucial that I keep their attention. And if my movement and going around, because if they feel that it's okay in our classroom to make a mistake because it's my job and Ms. Keisha's job to help them understand it. And so it's all right for them to make a mistake so I can go around and ensure that just like when Alexis said five-fourths and Shanoi said five-fourths and everybody else said the answer was one and one-fourth, that was a wonderful place and I'm so glad they did that on purpose and I'm, because that gave me the opportunity to show them that they are equivalent fractions. And so that's just one more example how we could tie it in and show it in one more way um, that they're all equivalent fractions and that they're all connected and it's all the same in fractions. Can we turn the light off? Okay, what words do we have there, Tyler? Mixed numbers. Mixed numbers, and that's what Deja said when we saw a whole number and a fraction and we put them together as one. So read that mixed number for me, Tyler. One, one, four. And one and a half. Our next vocabulary word, everybody tell me. Fractions. fractions. And here we have a number, number line. line. Okay? Okay, let's see what he's going to say. Fractions and mixed numbers. Think about this question during the lesson. Thank you, we will. Liza has three-fourths yard of pink ribbon, one-half yard of green ribbon, and one and three-fourths yards of blue ribbon. 
write the lengths in order from least to greatest. Least to greatest. So I know I'm going to start with the smallest fraction or mixed number and go to the greatest. And here they are, three-fourths of a yard, one-half yard, or one and three-fourths yard. Raise your hand if you already know the biggest one that's in there. Everybody, when I say three, say it. One, two, three. One and three-fourths. Okay, so that's easy. I can get rid of that one because I know it's the biggest. So, so now all I have to do is figure out, is it three out of four or one out of two? Out of those two, which one is the smallest, Bree? One half. Thumbs up if you agree. Y'all are so darn smart. So one half, and then obviously the next biggest is three, three out of four. four. One out of two, three out of four, and then one and deja loop, three-fourths. Excellent. The number line shows the numbers from zero to two. It is divided into fourths. Where does the fraction one half appear on the number line? Okay, do you s sorry. So where is one half? Where's one half going to be? Go put a dot about where one half is. That a boy. One fourth. Yeah, put a big fat dot right there. And look at them. Thumbs up if he's got it right. There it is, and dead in between zero and one is right there, one half. Thank you, honey. Okay, Ms. Keisha. One half is between zero and one. Where does the fraction three-fourths appear on the number line? How do you know? And we know it was three-fourths because we counted with your big old head there, one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths, and four-fourths. Three-fourths is between zero and one and is to the right of one-half. How many people are Where does that? the mixed number one and three-fourths appear on the number line? So what's missing here? One and one. One and three-fourths. So one and three-fourths. Say it, Deja One and three-fourths. One and three-fourths. I know. And then I heard two and three-fourths. The mixed number one and three fourths is between one and a half and Pretty two. Good. Look at Got the it, number Ken. line. How do you find the order of the fractions and mix numbers from least to greatest? So there's our essential question. How do we do that? How did we figure it out? We used a number, a number line, and when we did it without a number line at all, how did you figure out on our skills block how to put those numbers in order from least to greatest, Markeria. You used your, you did use your brain, and we used your brain on number nine. Everybody say number sense. Number sense. She knew that she had to use that mixed number as the very biggest one, didn't you? And then we had to figure out which was bigger, one third or one ninth, and you knew one out of three was going to be bigger than one out of nine. So to answer that question, how we do it, either with using a number line or using our strategies with our number sense. Okay? Okay. Would you grab your white boards? Are you good? Number eight on page 320. What do the directions say to do, Alexis? Compare white less uh -huh. than, less gre than, greater than, or equal to. Use a number line, a number line to help. Okay, that's one of our strategies is to use a number line, but we don't need it because we already got our brains, like Marcuria said. So everybody, look at number eight. We compare numbers by doing what, Kenneth? Greater than, than less than, or, or equal to. Everybody look at number eight. That says what, Jonathan? It says compare right greater than less than or equal. Thank you for four. reminding us what the directions were. Now read number eight for me. Two-fourths two is, is greater than one less whole. than or equal to one whole. whole. I need you to think about that for five seconds. Then lean to your left and share with your shoulder partner. Tell me what the answer is. Two fourths is.
explain to me. Oh, you're reading it this way, like the Chinese. How come I'm the only one whispering? Y'all better be whispering to your shoulder partner. Tell me the answer, Leland. Okay. Two fourths is. Greater than. I didn't want Less you. Than. Which one? You said both. Which one? Less than. Okay. Which Less one? Than. Oh, stop! <laughs> two fourths is. Which one? You said less than. Thank God. Okay, two forces less than one whole thumbs up if you agree. Okay, this time, read my lips. Whisper to your shoulder partner the answer this time. Are you ready? Number nine, it says six fourths is greater than less than equal to one half. Whisper to your shoulder partner the answer. Yes, but we're all a family and we all celebrate each other when we learn something when we reach the next level and so I think whispering to your shoulder partner is very important too sharing with each other the answer or so and so would you help so and so because we're all in this together we're all one we're all Miss Fitch's shining stars and we can all succeed and um, hopefully get two grades up in our appropriate grade because that's my job too um, I can't help what has happened in the past chip um, but I, ha I am in control of 180 days that they're with me. So anything that I can say or do or find somewhere that will enhance my learning and my teaching and enhance their learning, that's my job to do. A number line. What do you see on the number line, Cervante? House. Whose house? Oliver. Oliver's house. Everybody put your finger on Oliver's house. Okay, what else is on that number line? Cervante? A, a toy store. Everybody put your finger on the toy store. And next, Cervante, is the library. Everybody put your finger on the library. The next one is? A school. A school. Everybody put your finger on the school. And the last one is? A gas station. A gas station. Everybody put your finger on the gas station. The first number line that we saw today, it was cut into... Do you remember? Deja Lu? 60. Ooh, our ruler is, what's it, what was it cut into? It was cut into Ooh, you're so close. It was cut into? Fourth. Get a tweet out of the jar. It was cut into fourths. Remember, we had one fourth and then we had two fourths that they had changed to one half. So what is this one cut into? Loriana, what do you say? If I'm going to concentrate on between zero and one, how many sections did I cut it into? Hmm? 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 I think part of my job as well is to make sure I have everybody with me. And if the five hands or six hands are the only people that I call on, then that lets the rest of them off the hook. So I'm very cognizant on picking, and I'll pick north, south, east, and west because they won't know where I'm going next. Um, so I think that's important, number one, to keep everybody with me because they don't know where Miss Fitch is going and they don't know when Miss Fitch is going to say and go get a treat out of the jar. So everybody's ready um, to pounce on that answer and, and let me know. But I think that I need to let those reluctant learners know that I'm going to pick on them well, too. Tell me where Oliver's house is. Starting at zero. Ah, thank you, it's at zero. So tell me where the toy store is. <gasps> Chinoy. If it's fourths, how many of those sections over from zero is it? Here's zero. One, two what? Two out of, what we cut them into? What did Loriana say we cut them into? Loriana, tell them again. Fourths. Two fourths. Is it two over? Watch, Shinoi. 
one. So if this one is one fourth, and that's two fourths, and that's three fourths, and one whole is four fourths. So what is one two fourths the same thing as? Make an equivalent fraction for me, Cervante. Two fourths is the same as one half. You say so, Rihanna? Two fourths, same thing as one half? Two out of four, one out of two, same thing? Okay, smarty pants, you don't have to show off. Okay, Think. three six is exactly right. Okay, so we're at two fourths or one half of the toy store. Raise your hand if you can tell me where the library is. Look at the library. Write it on your whiteboard. Hold it to your chest when you get done. Well, over the years, um, I've gone through a gazillion Expo markers because children absolutely love to write on the board. So if I have whiteboards for everybody and have them a small Expo marker, number one, that's the hook. I've got them. They're going to be excited to do that. And number two, it makes them feel, it, feel really good because paper pencil, we've been doing that for a long time, but a whiteboard and an Expo marker and it wipes real great with my shirt or my hand rather than an eraser, uh, then that's something that's fun for them and quick for me to see. And that's a quick assessment. Show me your whiteboard. Everybody has it and everybody's enjoying doing it and writing it on their own whiteboard. Everybody ready? Yeah. When I say three, show me your whiteboard. One, two, three. Excellent, excellent. Where is the library, Chanel? Five fourths is what kind of fraction, Kenneth? Uh, proper thing. One, two, three, four. Isn't that right? Is it five fourths? Because didn't you tell me, Loriana, it was cut into fourths? So in the library at five fourths? Well, what do you have on your paper? Well, who's right? You were Chanel. What do you have, Alexis? Are you right? Are you, is Loriana right? Five-fourths, one and one-fourth. Who's right, Leland? Who's right, Keandre? Nobody. Nobody's right. We both missed it? They are, they are equivalent. Oh, so that means they're both. Right. They're both right because they are equivalent. Yes. What kind of fraction is five-fourths then, Keandre? Equivalent fraction. It is equal to one and one fourth. Improper. Five. Say it again. It's improper fraction. It is an improper fraction. What does that line mean between my numerator and denominator? Divide. Oh, so that really says five divided by four. How many fours are in five? One. One group. One group. How many left over? One. One out of five. Huh. One what? out of four is right. So five fourths and one and one fourth are exactly the same. Before we go to our different groups, I need you to tell me something, Haley. Deja. What have we been talking about all week? Fractions. Fractions. And today we had what kind of fractions, Alexis? Yay. Equivalent fractions. Right. And one was a what kind of fraction, Eric? This is called an There are two kinds of fractions. Help him, Loriana. There's a proper and an. Yep. So this is Eric is in. Proper. I mean, in. yeah, improper fraction is right, and this is a. Mixed. Yeah, and a mixed number. So we found equivalent fractions today on what, Keandre? Remember where the. This is all called a. Line graph. I'm so glad you know what a line graph is too. But this is a graph that has numbers on it, so his name is a, or a line that has numbers on it, so he's called a number line. On a number line, we can find the fractions, is right. So, tell me, Deja, how can I order fractions and mix numbers? By least to greatest? Yes, that's one choice that I have, or I could do it from greatest to least, but I can use a number line, a number line or I can use my number six. Um, I, we have three centers that we go to. Um, one, um, my paraprofessional has one I have, and one is Compass Odyssey. And the whole trick to this, uh, in my assessment, is I teach 
the lesson on fractions. Miss Keisha is going to do a reteaching on fractions and equivalent fractions and on a number line. I'm going to do the practice master and on Compass Odyssey. They're doing equivalent fractions. So they get it from me and then do it boom, boom, boom three more times. And by golly, by the time 10 till 3 gets here and they walk out my door, it has been retaught and, and instilled in them. And I ha feel really confident that they understand. And tomorrow morning when they walk in my room and I say, is one half and two fourths the same or equivalent? They can tell me yes or no because we've done it four times. Enough. Didn't we kind of do this with the library and the toy store and the school? And, okay, so look at the number line. Where does it begin, everybody? At zero. At zero and it goes to? Three well, if you were going in order, it would go that. But at the end of my number line, I have three, three holes. So read us the first fraction that's on there, Alexis. One fourth. So it must be cut into four. Oh, okay. So read it to us. We've got one fourth and then one half. Wait a minute, I thought you said it was in fourths. Why has it got one half if it's supposed to be cut into fourths? What because, guy? because you can um you can reduce two it fourths and it equals one, one half. half. One half That's is right. So what comes two. next? One fourth, two fourths, or one half. The next fraction is. Three yes, write it down. Three fourths. And the next number would be. Four fourths. Which is the same thing as. One whole. Okay, write your four fourths. And what? Smarty pants, one whole. And the next one would be the next box. One and. One and one fourth. One and one fourth. And then, Kenneth, the next fraction or mixed number is one, one and two fourths, and then one and three fourths, and then one and four fourths. Because one and two fourths is the same thing as one and one half. Right. And then you've got one and three fourths. What comes next? One and four fourths. Everybody, right. One and four fourths in that next box. But what does one and four fourths equal? One whole. One whole and four fourths equals two. Two holes. Yes, it's two holes because I've got one hole and one hole, put them together, and that gives me two. So under one and four fourths, put the whole number two. And then what's going to come next? That's perfect. Two and, two and one, one fourth, fourth, and then two and one half, which is the same thing as two and two and two two fourths is right and then I've got two and three fourths. Three fourths. Are we going too fast? Are you good? Okay, that's okay. Make sure he, she's got it. Because we've got one and three fourths, one and four fourths, which is two holes. Put your two holes underneath them. Don't erase anything. You're okay. Just put it at two because it's exactly the same thing. If I had one and four fourths and you had two holes, who has more? Well, excess. Who has more? One and four fourths or two? No one. No one because they are equivalent. So my next number would be two and one fourth because I'm counting by fourths. Two and two fourths. Two and three fourths. Right. Two and three fourths. And then two and four fourths, Kenneth, which is the same thing as make sure that's two and three fourths. Because we remember we're counting by fourths. Okay, and then we have three holes. Are you with me? Now that little boy that was running across the screen said that if we compared fractions on a number line, we know if we're talking between zero and one, the fraction that's closest to one hole is always going to be the same. The biggest one, right? And the one closest to zero is going to be the one that's always the Le smallest. smallest or the least. Okay, so let's look at number two. What did the direction say to do, Cervante? Compare, right? Greater than, hmm? I mean, less than, you greater sure? than, or equal to. Thank you. The next sentence says? Use the number line above to help. Okay. Do number two for us. Read it. It says? Three fourths is greater than, less than, or equal to one half. Okay, everybody write down your answer for me. I'll know you're done when your pencil's down. So today's lesson with the number line, that would give them one more visual to be able to see that one third um, is going to be less than one half or two fourths is the same thing as one half. So that was what today's lesson was about. And um, it's finding those new strategies or those new um, ideas that will help my children um, learn and understand the concept that I'm trying to teach. I need you to tell me, Deja Lu, did you learn a word today in our lesson that you might not have heard before? Or one that you want to remind us of? Improper? Improper. Tell me what an improper fraction is. Uh, not, Im 
noun proper? Because M means not in a prefix. Give me an example of an improper fraction. Sixteen fifths. Sixteen fifths. Awesome. Can you tell me what sixteen fifths equals, Keandre? Oops. What did you tell me that line between Three the numerator and y? What does that line mean? Divide. Okay, so 16 divided by 5. How many fives would Three be in 16? Remainder one. Woo! 3 remainder 1. Half. Are we dealing with halves? No. What are we dealing with? Fifths. Thank you. So, if Haley has 16 fifths and I have 3 and 1 fifth, then Alexis, who has more? None. Nobody, because they are, what's that word? Equivalent. They're equivalent. What's the root word of equivalent? Equal. Equal is right. Tell me what the essential question was today, Haley. How can you order fractions and mix numbers? And how did we order those fractions, Markeria? You put them in order from? Greatest to least. Did we do them from greatest to least? I mean, at least to greatest. Thumbs up if you agree. Was it least to greatest? Yeah. Okay, so tell me how do we find, how do we order fractions and mix numbers? What can we use as a strategy, Shanoi? to help us? Number line. A number line. Get a treat out of the jar. A number line is right. And then, Leland, if we don't have a number line and we don't have a piece of paper to write and, and draw a number line, we use our number... Six. Yes. Say it loud and proud. Our number... Six. A number <laughs> sense. Get a treat out of the jar. Okay. Can you do one last one for me, Tyler? Make sure everybody's got it. Everybody. On number 11, page 320, read that to me, Bree, loud and proud. One and three fourths is, give me the answer. Greater than, oh, less than two and one third. Thumbs up if you agree. Absolutely. You got it. I'm so proud. Thank you for your hard work. Mwah. Thank you.